who was the first mayor of Onion Falls. That would be Cyrus P. Onion, sir. Correct. During the Battle of Onion Falls, what general said... I shall return with onions, General Douglas P. McOnion. Correct. <sighs> now, if a train left the station at 3 p.m. and continued... Mr. Yak, a few questions. Ask away, sweetheart. What time would the train arrive in Onion Falls? Good. Good. 4.17 p.m., sir. Correct. <laughs> Yakety, why can't you be more like Keo? How are the mittens coming, Granny? It stopped being mittens when I realized I forgot the thumbs. Here's a hat now. Not another hat. Enough with the hat chat. I'm trying to watch the show. Welcome back to Who Want to Win a Bunch of Money? What is the correct formula for calculating speed? Distance divided by time. Uh oh, no, sir, Bob the horn honking clown says time's up. The correct answer is distance divided by time. Huh. Take that, Mr. No Siri Bob. My Keo knows it all. You know, my yakety has got quite a head between those antlers, too. Hey, a little help, somebody? I was trying to reach a candy. <laughs> Thanks, Keo. You know, your dad's right. You ought to try out for that show. Come on, Yakety. You know how far away that TV studio is? And remember, folks, who wants to win a bunch of money will be coming to you from Onion Falls next week. Hear that? This is your big chance, Keo. You'll be on TV in front of millions of people. <gasps> Boy, do I envy you. I, 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 I can't do it. Don't you remember what happened when I won the school history contest? I'd like to accept this award on behalf of Keo who's currently quivering with stage fright in a toilet stall. But if he were here, I know he'd want to thank you all with five minutes of rock'em, suck'em, stand-up comedy. <laughs> For a bunch of history geeks, they could really fling the fruit. Uh, no offense, sir. None taken. I've heard you, act. I feel like throwing myself at you. Nobody insults my grandson in my house, mister. You're out of here. Hello? I got no legs. All right, then. We're out of here. I'd really like to go on the game show, but I'm just too shy. If only there was some way to combine your know-it-all noggin with my complete inability to feel shame in front of others. Eureka! Yakety, this is just crazy enough to work. Then whatever it is, let's do it! <laughs> He's a candy store owner who collects sticky things and actually enjoys flossing. Let's all welcome Mr. Hype Hands. Thanks, Glim. Love your teeth. And our challenger, he's a straight D student whose hobby is wearing a very big hat. Here's Yakety Yak. Oh, watch the ear hair. Sorry. <laughs> so tell us, Yakety, big hat, what's the deal? Interesting story, Glib. Uh, sometimes it sneezes. Well, I've heard of a thinking cap, but not a sneezing cap. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of thinking, let's play... Who wants to win a bunch of money? Get a load of that goofball in the ugly hat. That happens to be my hat and my goofball. First question goes to Yakety. This is going to be embarrassing. Turn it up. Okay, which of these particles is not found in the nucleus of an atom? Proton, neutron, or electron? Interesting question, Glib. Electron. I hope you don't mind if I think out loud. Of course, sometimes I have to ask myself to think a little louder. Electron. The answer is electron, Glib. You are correct, Yakety. Huh? Whoa! In your face, pineapple puss! <laughs> 6,432 degrees is correct! Yakety yak, you're our new champion! Yay! Ow! 
<laughs> Sorry, Hat. <laughs> Don't forget, Yakety, you'll be back tomorrow for round two of... You know what? Wait a bunch of money! What a team, Keo. With your brains and my chipper personality, we're gonna win a... Uh, what's a bigger word than bunch? Plethora. A plethora of money. And think of the plethora of things we can do with that money. <laughs> I like having an extra brain. You were incredible oh. on TV last night, Yakety. Yes. Well, I couldn't have done it without my best friend, Keanu. The lucky cap. <laughs> he brought me a plethora of luck. Wow, you sound smarter than Keo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally. Sorry, but no sorry, Bob the horn honking clown says you're wrong, Professor Crazy Hair. Champ? That's an easy one, Glib. The answer is... Uh, give me a sec. Muskmelon. You sure? The answer is... Muskmelon. <laughs> Woohoo! Go yuckety! <laughs> now for our pop quiz. Who can explain the meaning of life? I'd like to hear what Yakety's answer is since he's so, you know, smart. Uh... Gee, I don't know. What a brilliant answer. A true genius is always willing to admit what he doesn't know. In that case, I'm one brainy dude. <laughs> hey, Kino! Good news! I brought your share of the winnings. Wow! I didn't realize we'd won so much. Show him what he's won, boys! Huh? Cheese? Not just cheese, discounted cheese! See, as I was leaving the bank with our winnings, I was approached by a very naive dairy products wholesaler, who I got the best of by shrewdly trading our mere cash for this truckload of gooder! How could you blow our winnings without consulting me? I'm the brains. And I'm the personality. Maybe I don't need brains. Then maybe you should figure out what you're gonna do with three tons of milk and cheese. We better win tomorrow. We're gonna need to buy a lot of crackers. There won't be a tomorrow for you. Your brain just quit. And now, here's our returning champion, Yakety Yak! Whoa, what's that new cologne you're wearing, Yakety? I don't know what you mean, Glib. It's not like I'm wearing cheese under my hat. All right, then. Let's meet your challenger. He's a young man with a pineapple head. What? Let's give it up for Keo! Okay, champ, first question. Romeo and Juliet was written by what famous author? <laughs> Jeez. Sorry, champ. Spotlight's on you, Keo. Um. Okay, let's try an easier one. The solid state of water is called... Cheese? Um... When we inhale, we breathe... Cheese? Um... After 18 minutes of play, the score remains nothing to nothing. After this commercial break, we'll return to see if anybody wants to win a bunch of money. Well, I hope you're happy. You're making me look like a fool. You're wearing a hat full of cheese. You are a fool. Besides, you never would have won anything if it wasn't for me. Uh, Keo, the red light's back on. Stage fright, remember? Hey! I was the one hiding in your hat giving you all the answers! Um, what's that red light mean? It means, Mr. and Mrs. Viewing Public, that a fraud has been perpetrated on this great institution of quizzery by these two game show charlatans. I never really liked the show. Me neither. Well, let's check out what's on the Penmanship channel. So, who wants to win a bunch of money wants our bunch of money back. Where is it? Um, cheese? 
Tonight, on Survival of the Grossest, these two boys will eat a hatful of sweaty cheese for a big cash prize. I can't believe there isn't an easier way to earn that money back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.